Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you the Rip It or Ship It book tag take two. So the Rip It or Ship It book tag is a tag that was created so so long ago by Emma Books and I did it on my channel over two years ago and so I just decided it would be fun to do it again. I'll link the first time I did it up in the cards above. It was over two years ago and I didn't have a lot of luck the first time I did it. All of the people I seemed to pull out were just terrible, terrible couples. So I have decided to do it again. I have in my Children Are Maggots mug, which I got when I went to see Matilda, Matilda the Musical. I've got all of my names in this cup. So the idea of this tag, if you don't know, is you basically just take names and you pull two out and you decide whether you're going to rip them as in RIP, like rest in peace them. You, you don't ship it or you do ship it basically. So I'm going to pull them out in pairs. I think I've got enough in here to do 16 rounds if I recall correctly. So let's get started. Round one. Okay. I got two. Okay. Kenji from the Shatter Me series and... Evie O'Neill from the Diviners series by Libba Bray. Hmm. Evie and Kenji. My initial reaction to these two was no. I don't know why. Just my initial thought was, well, no, that's not going to work. I think that Evie is probably a bit too high maintenance for someone like Kenji. Although... No, I just, something about them, my initial like gut reaction is just, no, I just can't see it working between these two. So I am going to rip Kenji and Evie. All right, let's do round two. Pull out another two, one and two. Okay, I've got Ronan Lynch from the Raven Boys, well, the Raven Cycle. And Aaron from the Winners Trilogy by Marie Rutkowski. Oh, this is an interesting... Hmm. Hmm. I actually think that I could see this working. Ronan and Aaron. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to ship this. I could see Ronan and Aaron together, actually. I'm kind of into it. I'm going to... I'm going to ship these guys. Okay, round three. Let me pull two out. Juliet Farrar's from the Shatter Me series trilogy, or now series, I guess, and Mabel Rose from the Diviners series. No, this would never work. Um, Mabel is very restrained type of person, and Juliet, while she, I guess, kind of, she has a lot of, like, character progression throughout the series, but I just really can't see... I think that Juliet needs the type of person who can help bring her out and really bring her strengths like to the fore and I just don't think that Mabel would do that for her so I'm going to rip this one as well. Okay round four. Let me grab two. We have Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices and Sam Lloyd from the Diviners series. Um Hmm. I feel like this is a, I feel like I could see Will and Sam being friends. I could see them really like egging each other on because they're both kind of like sarcastic, sassy type of guys. So I could definitely see them. So I'm going to like ship this one as like a friendship. I can't see them like romantically, but as a friendship, I can totally see this. Round five. I've got two. We have Kestrel from the Winners Trilogy and Theta Knight from the Diviners series. Um, hmm. Again, my like initial gut reaction is no. Um, I, and I don't know what it is about these two, but I just feel like Kestrel would really piss Theta off. Like, I just don't think Theta would be into it. So I'm going to rip this one. 
round six. Oh, we had one jump out of the cup. Who is that? Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instrument series, one of my fave characters. And Percy uh, from the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Hmm. Simon and Percy. Hmm. They're from very different time periods. And I feel like maybe, like, if Percy was in modern days, I could kind of maybe see him being, like, a bit of a, like, you know, guy who's into, like, gaming and anime and stuff like Simon is. But I just can't really see it, like, romantically. I just don't, the feel I get is no. So I'm going to rip this one as well. All right, round seven. I've got two. Resand from the Akatar series and Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices. Hmm, this is an interesting combination. My initial reaction is again no, because um, my initial thought was that Tessa, like, would just find um, Resand really like annoying, like she would just think that is kind of like whole holier than thou attitude but at the same time Will Herendel has kind of that attitude and obviously like he's one of the love interests in the series so you know obviously she doesn't find it completely annoying um hmm Tessa and Reese Tessa and Reese you know what I'm gonna shift this I could kind of see this working out I think it would be an interesting relationship Round eight. I think this is like about halfway, if I recall correctly. Ooh, one fell out. Who it fell out? Henry Montague from Gentleman's Guide Device and Gentleman's Guide Device and Virtue, or Monty as we know and love him, and Sydney Sage from the Bloodline series. Um No. Just no. Sydney is very practical and down to earth and while she does kind of need someone to help her see like the lighter side of life a little bit I just think Henry is way too like a frivolous type of person for her and she could not handle it I just couldn't really see this working so I'm going to rip this one as well round nine okay we've got Jem Carstairs from the Infernal Devices and Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Interesting. This is a very interesting duo. You know what? I'm going to ship this. I could I could see this. I really could. Yeah, I'm into this. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to ship that. I ship Gem and Hermione. What were they? Gemini. Yeah. I'm into it. Round 10. Nesta from the Akatar series. Nesta's one of my favourite characters from Akatar. And Adam Parrish from the Raven Cycle. Hmm. No, I just can't see this. I feel like no, I just this just wouldn't no. No, this just would not work. I like I I can I just feel that this wouldn't work. Nesta, I feel like needs someone who can really show her like how good like the world can be. And Adam, I just don't think he's the right person for that job. So I'm gonna rip this one. All right, round eleven. Got two here. Adele Lemoyne. Adele is the main character in the Casket Girls um, and the sequel Romeo Catches in that series. And then, ooh, Isabel Lightwood. Yes, 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 yes. This would be like a total femme power couple. I feel like they would butt heads a little bit, but I feel like it would be like a really like fiery, passionate, magical, just awesome relationship. Yeah, I'm definitely going to ship this one. Okay. Round 12. <laughs> Alright, oh, I've got three. Chuck one back. Okay. Magnus Bane from the Shadowhunters, like, world. And Jericho Jones from the Diviners. No. 
no. Although, I guess Jericho kind of does have some things in common with um, Alec, but just no, I just don't feel this. No, I just, no, I just, I just don't feel good about this one. I'm going to rip this one. Okay, round 13. We have, I, I folded these so small. Draco from the Harry Potter series and Blue from the Raven Cycle. No, no, just no, 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 no. That, no, no, that's definitely a rip. Okay, round 14, only a couple to go. I have Karu from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, trilogy, and Richard Gansey III from The Raven Cycle. Hmm. Hmm. This is another one where my initial reaction was no. Um, I feel like... Gansey, again, is very serious and dedicated type of person and he needs someone who can, again, show him, like, have really, like, fun times and stuff and show him, like, how fun everything can be. And I just don't, again, I don't think Karu is the right person for that. I just don't think that they would complement each other properly, so I'm going to rip this one as well. All right, round 15. Only two couples left. Who do we have? We have... Ginny Weasley from the Harry Potter series and Warner from Shadow Me. No, no, this would never work. Ginny would not stand for Warner's shit. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Warner, but Ginny would just be having none of it. So that would, though, they would just never work. So I'm going to rip this one. And the final round, there's only two people left in my cup. Let's see who they are. We have... Feyre from the Akatar series and who is it? Luna Lovegood. No, no, this just wouldn't, I feel like Luna needs someone like a really like gentle soul and I don't think that Feyre is what I would describe as a gentle soul. So unfortunately I'm going to rip this one as well. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. How many did I ship? One, two, three, four, five. Five out of 16. So this is a better success than I had the last time I did this because I think I only shipped two couples the last time I did this. So I had more success. I don't know whether I just... I'm so used to book characters being with kind of who they're su like supposed to be with within their series that it's hard for me to imagine them with someone else. So the couples that I did end up shipping were Ronan from The Raven Cycle and Aaron from The Winner's Trilogy, Jem from The Infernal Devices and Hermione from Harry Potter, Sam Lloyd from The Diviner Series and Will Herondale from The Infernal Devices, or this one that is more of a friendship than a like romantic ship. Resand from uh, Akatar and Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices. And my favourite one probably, Isabel Lightwood and Adele Lemoyne. So Adele's from the Casquette Girls and Isabel's from the Mortal Instruments. So they're the couples I shipped. I would love to know in the comments down below if you agree with any of these couples that I've shipped, if there any of the ones that I've shipped that you think would not work, please let me know down below. Or if any of the couples that I ripped you think would do well together, please let me know that down below as well. I would love to chat down there. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.